Hi guys, Mr Kerr again. We're filming more pracs in the Mount Erin Science Labs. Today we're looking at prac 6.1 number 2, conservation of mass, on page 236. So the idea of this is to look at, well, when we have a reaction actually occurring, do we still get a conservation of the mass? As in that the mass should stay the same. Because remember, what we have in the reactant side of equations always has to go to form those products. So we can't have matter being created or destroyed. So even though we're seeing a chemical reaction occur, we should still have the same amount of substances in the reactants as we do in the products at the end. And that's the conservation of mass. That means the mass should stay the same. Nothing new is added and nothing is taken away. Really straightforward prac here. Um, you can follow it in the textbook. So what we've got is 20 mils of barium nitrate solution. I've just used test tubes instead of using the beakers just makes it a little bit easier. Here's the barium nitrate here and we have 20 mils of sodium sulfate solution and that is this one here. Doesn't really matter which is which, you don't need to know that for this prac, but there's the sodium sulfate there. And I'm going to weigh these two on the beaker. So if you wouldn't mind recording down what the weights were in your table. So there's a table in the textbook that you either have copied down or have been provided with that you should be filling out as we go here. So, first of all, let's go with the barium nitrate. Let's weigh that one. Okay, we have 38.84 grams. 38.84 grams. That's what you're entering into the space for beta 1 mass before reaction in grams. So 38.84 there. And for the sodium sulfate, we have 36.08 grams. 36.08. So you should be entering that in beaker 2 for the mass before reaction. Now, if you're doing this as we go along, you can enter the total mass of those two by adding them together in that total section there. So, total mass before reaction. Now, the textbook tells us to pour all of the barium nitrate into the test tube for sodium sulfate. So we're doing the reaction, we're mixing it together. Um, so I'm going to do that now. I'm going to try and get every last drop if possible. Don't tell me I've poured too much in. No, that's okay. I'm going to try and get every drop out so there's nothing left in there. A couple of drops on the side, but that's fine. And look what's happened actually. You'll notice that we had clear solutions before. This has gone a milky colour. We actually call that a precipitation reaction. So a precipitation has happened, a solid has been formed. Those atoms have been rearranged. We have a new substance being formed here. So we had barium nitrate and sodium sulfate. And they've actually rearranged themselves to make a new substance in there, a solid. There wasn't a solid before. We only had two clear solutions. Now we have a solid. It did not look like that before. So I'm going to go off and re-weigh these. Here was test tube 1, which is now empty. I'm going to be re-weighing. And that now weighs 21.48 grams. So test tube 1, or it says beaker 1, the mass after reaction, you would be putting in there. Okay, it's now empty. But now let's go and weigh the solutions that have been added together and reacted. Okay, and we see a new substance has formed there. A chemical reaction has occurred. So we're going to weigh that one. And we have 53.44 grams. So you'd be writing that in beaker 2, in the spot there, in your table. And then again, for people that are working along, you can work out the total. And the interesting question is, is the total the same? Well, I'll let you ponder whether it should be or it shouldn't be. But we're illustrating the conservation of mass here, that even though this new milky substance has been formed, atoms have been rearranged. Has anything new been added? Have any new molecules or atoms been added? Or have any been taken away? Or is the mass being conserved? Is the mass the same? So do the totals, have a look, and see how it adds up. All right, have a great day, and we'll see you back at the school soon.